Assalamu alaikum. I hope you guys are fine. So in this video we are going to discuss that what is basically a computer network. We will look into the definition of computer network and then we will explore different types of a computer network. So first of all let's see what a computer network basically is. A computer network is a group of interconnected nodes or computing devices that exchange data and resources with each other. So here we can see that computer network is a group of which items or which components of interconnected nodes these nodes can be your computers or any other connecting device it can be your laptop your bluetooth device your router your modem right so all the devices when they come together and make a sort of network make a sort of communication we say that it is a computer network right one thing which we need to keep in mind here is that a computer network basically creates a connection it basically establishes a connection between different devices right when i said that it basically creates a connection here uh, make sure that what we basically mean that there can be two types of connections it can be wired connection or it can be wireless right so uh, wired connection uh, involves different sort of cables and wirings uh, right and uh, when i say wireless media it involves uh, say radio waves and all this stuff so we will look into the details of each and every one uh, but before this here is a simple pictorial representation of what a computer network usually looks like here you can see different devices uh, which in terminology of computer networks we call as nodes right so here is a computer here is a laptop different speakers mobile phones Uh, cloud computing devices your smartphones all these uh, stuff all these devices which we call as nodes are interlinked with each other through links or through communication uh, communication medium and this medium can be wired and it can be wireless as well right so here we are done with the basic definition of computer networks now let's look into the different types of uh, computer network so here you can see the types of computer network so uh, Uh, except these five uh, types of computer network there are some other types as well but these are the uh, let's say significant ones so we will look into the details one by one so here uh, we come across the first type of computer network which is pan so pan stands for personal area network and pan uh, let's say you can assume that pan is for your personal area your personal workspace let's see if you have a mobile phone and you have a laptop and you have a uh, bluetooth earphones right so if you connect all these devices this will form a personal area network uh, which we term as pan and they are smallest in terms of coverage uh why because uh, they span within a room or a personal space so they are they are they are very limited in space right therefore uh, we call it as pan which is personal area network as uh, far as its ownership is concerned um pans are usually owned and controlled by a single individual right and uh, its speed speed uh, definitely we can say that personal area networks have a very low to moderate data transfer speeds as you can see from few megabits per second to 100 mb mb per second right then you have some examples bluetooth connections and accessories like uh, these can be your smart watches headsets and all this stuff so when a single person creates a connection creates a network between different devices which is owned by him or her then we can say that this is a personal area network right now here comes the lan lan basically stands for local area network now suppose you have a single building and you have either wired or wireless connection between different devices which are operated which are being operated in that particular building then we say that this is lan right so when we discuss a network which when we discuss a computer network uh, within a single building within a single office or within a single campus then we say that this is the lan and as far as its ownership is concerned lans are often owned controlled and managed by a single organization right so we saw that in pan this was managed and owned only by a single individual but here organizations can also be a part of lan right so its speed is 10 megabits per second to 10 gigabits per second and you can see the examples like wifi networks at home lan in your computer lab and all this so uh, here you have next which is man man basically stands for metropolitan area network and let's say there is a bank right uh, now assume that this bank 
has a different number of multiple branches in a single city then we will say that all these branches within a single city and the networks across all these branches co constitute a man which is metropolitan area network so mans cover a large geographical area than lands but smaller than vans right so keep the difference in mind here it typically spans a, a city or a metropolitan area up uh, now Uh, the speed is from one megabits per second to one gigabits per second, and you can see the examples. And uh, one example I have already mentioned that is um, a bank having multiple branches in a city, in a single city, right? So here comes the examples which are cable TV networks, city-wide Wi-Fi networks, and large corporate networks, right? So next you can see is CAN. So CAN is usually less uh, renowned uh, type of computer network, but we will discuss it here. CAN basically stands for campus area network, and these are similar to LANs, but the one difference which uh, differentiates it from uh, LAN is that it is usually broader in scope. Let's say that it is on larger scale, right? And uh, it covers large multiple buildings, it covers large industrial complexes, it covers large mil military bases. So therefore, we keep it um, separate from from LAN because it differs in this particular point. So next uh, is the last one, which is WAN. WAN basically stands for wide area network, and they cover a large geographical area, even um, whole countries, whole continents, right? So ownership, uh, as regards the ownership of WAN, this is typically owned, uh, owned and managed by telecommunication companies or the service providers. Like you can see different uh, SIM cards, like Telenor and all that, and like Wi-Fi, PTC, LDSL. So these are basically WANs, mm, and the internet which we use, uh, basically. everyone uses internet uh, right now you are watching this video on youtube you are definitely using internet which is an example of wan that is wide area network right so wans can provide a variable data transfer speeds ranging from a few kilobits per second to several gigabits per second so example uh, the internet itself is the largest wan as i have already told you mm, connecting networks globally other examples include leased lines like telecommunication lines mpls networks and satellite net links so this was all about uh, computer network we looked at the basic definition of a computer network and what are different nodes and links and how a computer network basically looks like then we explored uh, different types of computer networks and we looked into the de details of lan man pan and wan and can so this was all about today if you have any query or any sort of ambiguity then you can always drop a comment and if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well see you soon till then khuda hafiz